Hello, I'm going to be making some collage fodder uh, with different, a couple of different papers. One is just cheap gift tissue paper from the dollar store, and the other is deli paper from, uh, what's it called? Smart and Final. Um, I know not everyone is in the U.S. So I think this is kind of a uniquely American product, um, and it will be fine for you to just use tissue paper for this. There is also wet strength tissue paper. If you have that, of course, you can use it. Um, but uh, as far as I know, there's only one place to get it, and it's a woman in the U.K., so um, I'm, I'm figuring that most of us won't have access to that. So I have those different papers, and then also I just have some cut out sheets of plastic. And then I just grabbed a, you know, some acrylic paint. I have some acrylic ink, some, I think that's acrylic as well. Um, let's see, I have this Higgins ink. I got some purple, magenta, teal. Um, and then what I am avoiding are these warm reds, um, like naphthols. Oh wait, no, this one I can use. Um, the naphthols and the cadmiums and uh, what else? The pyrroles are. They don't. I don't really like the purple that they make. It's more of a brownish kind of purple. But you are by all means welcome to use that. Um, but I, I know that I just, like, I like muted colors. I just don't like muted purples that much. So um, I'm just going to play around with these um, and then let, uh, like, let them dry for 24 hours. So one of the things that is nice about the deli paper is that it's strong when it's wet. <clears throat> and I think both sides are the same. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to crumple it up so I can get a little bit of a texture on there. And actually move these out of the way. One of the things also that you will need is a flat place to dry these. Um, you know, a f the floor is fine. That's where I'm going to be putting mine, as long as you can keep the animals away. Oh, I forgot. I also put out some watercolor. Um, and I'm just going to mix it up. I don't really care about, like, getting any kind of reliable result. I just want to be really experimental and just have some fun with color. So just going to pre-spray this, get the paper nice and wet. And you can also, um, you can put it in like a pattern, like um, you can like scrunch it if you want, and that will make a certain kind of pattern. You can also do like a, um, like a, a, maybe it would be better to do it while it's, <laughs> oh, I guess this is okay. You can kind of do like a zigzag fold. Maybe I'll play around with that. So just kind of gathering it up. We'll see what that does. Let me try one all scrunched as well. All right. I think I will do the scrunching of that one after. All right, so let me just try putting some color on there. Those droppers never seem to last very long. Just kind of dabbing it on. Oops. <laughs> that is so typical. So I could just have this fade to a light watery pink. Um, but I think I'm going to, let me try the watercolor. Put some watercolor on this end, overlap. 
Okay, it seems to be going all the way through. So there's that one. This one. I know that I want to get some variegate variegation. Is that how you pronounce that word? So um, just trying to like have some areas kind of blue, some areas a little bit more pink. Let's see if I can do this without splattering it all over the place. All right, that's a little too intense for my taste. Put some purple in there. And then let me try scrunching it and see what we get when it dries, which I might, I may or may not like. I might think it looks terrible. I might think it looks really cool. We will see. Okay, and then this plastic, uh, maybe I can fit one more on there. Mm, no. Okay. All right, let's try one with a tissue paper. Now, unless you have wet strength tissue paper, this will just fall apart. And I know from past experience that either using like acrylic inks or acrylic paints, um, the acrylic binder gives a little bit of strength to the tissue paper. Um, so I'm going to um, try that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of gel medium on here and dilute it and just kind of paint that out. And then I have some tissue paper here that has kind of a shiny side. And I know like when it dries on the plastic, it's gonna have that shine to it, which I don't personally like. So I'm gonna just put this shiny side down so that um, I don't have two shiny sides. And I'm just being really delicate with this because it, it's like, it's so easy to tear it when it's wet. And let's see, let me try, let me try some of this teal. Oh, actually, yeah, no, I'll try this. See, this part's fine, like, ooh, what colors? Put some teal on there. And I want mine, you can make it as dark as you want, but the thicker and darker the color you add, the more opaque it's gonna be. And one of the things that we're exploring is transparency and building up transparent layers. So um, it will lighten when it dries. So you might wanna go just a hair darker than you think you want it or not worry about it and just be experimental. So just being, try not to overbrush because I don't want this to get uh, to start tearing. So I'm using a soft brush. Maybe I'll add that teal is um, pretty intense. Uh, what did I use before? Purple. Let me add a little bit more of that. Oops. just some more water so it moves a little bit better. And I know that these bubbles will leave, they will leave that kind of bubbly pattern. And I kind of like that. So I think I'm going to leave that. Um, I wonder if I can, you can move it if you want. So maybe I'll do that with the next one. But this one I think I will leave like so. Like I said, we're going to let these dry for overnight so that they're totally dry. All right, this one I think I'm going to try, instead of using the gel, this is an experiment. I don't know what's going to happen. But instead of using the gel medium, I'm just going to try using paint. So this is... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's like something I got on sale and I've struggled with what to do with it, but it's, it's um, transparent. I think that's what that means. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am a professional artist. 
I just forget things. Okay, main that out. <clears throat> no, I have two pieces here, I think. Yeah. So I personally like getting wrinkles and texture um, because I just love texture. I use a lot of texture in my work. So I think I'm going to try just kind of shoving, oopsie, there it tear, tears. Maybe if I add more water, I'll loosen it up a little. And it's okay if it tears. It's not going to hurt anything. All right. Um, let me try adding this blue. Ooh, that blue is a little too strong. I'm not loving this. <laughs> That's okay. Can um, lift. Like it's going to dry overnight, so it will have plenty of time to. Um, like it's definitely easier to move, I'm noticing, because I, like I said, I'm trying this for the first time right in front of you. Um, adding the water definitely made it a little bit easier to move around. I'm a little worried, we'll see what happens. I'm a little worried that this is gonna all get glued together because of the acrylic. So maybe I won't be able to pull that apart, but I'm gonna just see what happens and kind of be experimental about it. And I have room over here for another piece. So I'm going to put some blue down. Maybe I will pre-mix this. I'm just gonna use this Higgins ink again. So I'm making these for the uh, workshop I'm doing in May. That's about the color violet. So I'm just using reds and blues. I'm kind of curious to see what this does. This um, I'm just gonna leave it like this and see how that turns out. It might be awful, but it might be interesting. Um, maybe I'll put a couple of drops of that in there. All right, curious to see how that turns out. And I have one more piece of plastic. Maybe I will do a little bit more of the deli paper. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I use some gel medium with it to see if it, I'm curious if it uh, changes. It's, it's kind of translucent already. 
And I, I'm curious if the gel medium will increase the transparency of it. I know it's gonna make it feel very plasticky, which I'm not gonna love, but that's okay. Let's see, what haven't I used? I haven't used this one yet. Try that with maybe a much smaller. Oh, actually, I'm gonna try the purple. Oh, let me try this ink, actually. This is indigo ink. And I think I want, one of the things I meant to do is just to make some that are just blue or are just um, red. Um, so let me just put some, splatter some straight red on there. All right, and we'll see what that does. So have fun making some collage papers and uh and we will be uh using them in the purple or the violet workshop coming up and i will do a follow-up to show you how each of them turned out tomorrow